Hi there guys, welcome back to step 6 of this introduction to uh, the SOLIDWORKS and I would like to show you that I have already kept the st step 5 design in front of me and I also have uh, introduced the fillets as you would remember in step 5 I have extruded and I have extrude cut um, a cylindrical shape over here this is one large fillet that I have over here um, I've left the bottom surface untouched on purpose because we were going to be working with it in a moment okay so yet again on the left hand side over here I have my design tree and as I go over it with my mouse I'll be able to highlight exactly what I have and I can go and edit each feature as I need All right so I'll go and edit this surface over here I'm going to be playing around with a button called shell so there it is over there it's also in the features tab you'll remember that we use the extrude boss we use the extrude cut and then we use the fillet button so I'm going to use the shell button because it will actually give me a hollowed out feature um, just remember that you if you're relying on um, a hollowed out uh, prototypes that you're going to be 3d printing or you know designing then you could use the shell button to um, use less material okay so we're going to go ahead shell you'll see that I've got um, on the left hand side here I've got all the options for the shell type and I've also got 10 millimeters as an option you'll see face one has already been selected um, yes I can go and delete it so I haven't got anything selected but I do need a surface selected over here I can select any of these surfaces but for now I'm going to go with the one on top shell outward um, well we don't want to go with outward we want to shell inward in this case of here and we do want to show the actual preview now you'll notice that there is no real preview set over here because 10 millimeters might be too big well let's go and change the 10 millimeters to 2 millimeters and see what it does automatically it's given me that show preview alright and you'll see that it is actually shelled or hollowed out the entire shape on the inside okay this is an indication that it has um, you can see that it's actually selected the entire object and it's used that surface as the entire object remember when we designed this object in step 3 I think it was or 4 um, we actually merged these two the actual prisms to each other and now this is exactly what will happen once they are merged they are seen as one object and I'll now be able to go ahead and go and select uh, surfaces or one surface that will affect the entire object Okay, so I'm going to be happy with that you'll see that on the outside I don't see anything being shelled but on the top you'll see that I've got the entire area or the entire body on the inside volume uh, shelled all right so it gives me a two millimeter gap between over here so I've got a two millimeter body all around this entire surface over here okay it's quite a nice a uh, little feature for something that you would maybe pour water into or um, designing a, a specific container or so alright so I'm going to go ahead and edit the shell for a moment so I'm going to go back to the shell feature on the left hand side of my in my uh, design tree I'm going to click on it and I'm going to edit feature we've actually done this before so there again you'll be able to see the actual uh, display or the preview and I'm going to change this a little bit okay so if I change this to one millimeter let's look at the display or let's look at the actual wall thickness changing I'm going to do this back to t two millimeters see the thickness change and let's go back to one okay so that could, that could also determine the strength of your actual object in this case over here I'm going to quickly use more than one face I'm not going to shell anything let's quickly just select that and change it back to a solid surface this shell I need to edit and let's go and select surfaces let's see what happens if I select two surfaces right um, I've got a full preview it hasn't changed anything for me you'll see there so let's select that let's see what happens okay so those three surfaces that I've selected it's actually removed I'll actually be able to look into the entire surface or the entire body area and see the actual volume removed okay so be very selective about the, the actual sides that you want removed to get a proper end product 
Okay, I'm going to just go back. Let's quickly delete the surfaces that I don't really want. Delete name there. Okay, and I'm going to select, let's say, that surface alone. Okay, see, if I've got one surface selected, it'll only take away that surface. All right, there we go. Let's go back over here. Delete that surface and take the top again. You'll see that I've got a multi-thickness setting over here. If I wanted to, I could go and select another surface. Uh, let's say we got that surface over there and we accept it at one millimeter, or I want to have that as a two millimeter or a three millimeter unit. You'll see that the bottom end over there, that area that I've selected will be three millimeters. It'll be selected or set at three millimeters. Let's change that quickly to back to one there can you see the thickness change over there let's zoom it in let's change it to three there we go back to one okay all right so i think we get the point about selecting two surfaces multi-thickness settings all right i'm going to select that all right i think one last little feature that i'd like to add here quickly is this button over here the section view okay uh, I will have to select the surface that I want to have sectioned and then I'll have to go and pull this along as it goes along just so that I can see this um, shape sectioned as I move it along. All right, very handy tool that. I can go OK and I can have a good look at that and I can go carry on. By unselecting this, clicking on it again, it gives me my shape back. All right, remember, if I want to go from top up, I can select the actual base over here, say, as a reference surface, I'm gonna go section from there, and now you can see it's gonna go from the bottom up. All right, very nice little feature over that. There we go, if you need to have any snapshots taken from your screen, you'll be able to take them in sections like so. Well, I hope this has uh, assisted your understanding and uh, this is going to be it for step number six. Stay tuned for step number seven.